Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. This is the latest in what I call the Tough Problems series. In each installment, I present two composite questions that my clients face and my response to each. Dear Dr. Marty, I've avoided dating because I'd be embarrassed to take off my clothes. I'm 20 pounds overweight, heavier than I was the last time I had sex with someone. Yeah, I could insist on turning out the lights. Yeah, I could insist that the guy needs to be attracted to me just as I am. Yeah, I could wait until I lose the 20 pounds. But honestly, I fear that I'd lose the 20 pounds, but like most people, be unable to keep the weight off. If I later gained it back, I could be accused of getting skinny while I was on the make, and then, once in a relationship, allow myself to get fat again. you have any advice? Here's my response. You're right about weight loss. Most people do tend to gain it back and more. The longer-term solution is probably to accept that. Indeed, the, that the right person will be attracted to you just as you are. Plenty of people are attracted to those who are heavy. More important, remember that attraction isn't all about one's body. Uh, at the risk of cliché, the sexiest organ is probably the brain. Uh, your intelligence and your kindness can trump 20 pounds. Besides, have you done all you want to do to look attractive even if you are overweight? With your hair, your clothes, your posture. The second letter is the following. Dear Dr. Nemco, dear Dr. Marty, in today's Me Too era, I'm scared to date. I'm a sexual person, and if I'm too assertive, it can be seen as an unwanted advance and even trigger a university grievance. If I fully restrain myself, I could seem inadequately interested. I've often read that women like to be craved. I'm a student, and on campus, guys tend to be presumed guilty. Even if a woman gives consent, if she's angry with you later, she can file a claim against you. And even if you successfully defend yourself, the stress is huge. I'm tempted to not date, at least until I finish graduate school. But that also feels crazy. Grad school should be a great place to meet a woman. Your classmates are intelligent, and you get to see them often, so you can proceed naturally, unlike at a bar, for example. I'm all tied up in knots. Any advice? Here's my response. Today, you're right. Men must be very careful, especially on college campuses. My best advice is to be conservative. Follow the no means no principle. That means whether verbally or not, unless the woman takes the initiative or clearly in word and or deed lets you know she wants you to go further, no matter how sexual you are, no matter how turned on you are, you know wise to stop. I know that's easier said than done, but doing so could save you misery far in excess of the pleasure you would derive from proceeding. In any event, I thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and if necessary, thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments, and I love it if you hit the share button below so uh, you can share on your social media, and thereby my efforts yield more value. And I'm flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.